Whirlpool is one of the most popular American appliance brands, and its dishwashers give you a lot of bang for your buck. But are they any good? In this video, I'll break down the pros and cons of Whirlpool dishwashers, walk you through the differences in its product lineup, and give you our expert recommendations on which models are best for most people. Hi, I'm John from Designer Appliances. Eventually it happens, your dishwasher breaks down, and the dishes start piling up, and you desperately need a replacement. If you're watching this video, that's probably exactly where you're at, and I feel your pain. I know you're dreading that trip to your local home improvement store, where it's impossible to find anybody to help you out. That's why we've pulled together all the resources you need to make a smart decision. When you're feeling confused and overwhelmed, come see us at our New Jersey showrooms. We'll help you understand the differences among all of the identical looking products and find the right one. And if you're remodeling, we'll show you how to get started and create a truly custom kitchen. Not local? Shop online or check out our blog and subscribe to this channel to get our expert advice. So why should you consider a Whirlpool dishwasher? I can think of three strong pros for starters. Number one, they're American made and reliable. You've probably heard or may just have a vague sense that Whirlpool is an old, reliable American brand. You're right, it is. That's why I include it in our annual Best Dishwashers rankings. Whirlpool's best value dishwashers may not have all the latest technology, but their no frills designs means fewer problems. You get solid wash performance and customer service at a reasonable price. That brings us to number two, affordability. Whirlpool's always been known for affordable dishwashers. You should know that they have jumped up in price recently though. Like many other brands, Whirlpool's been struggling with supply chain issues in 2020 and 2021. A dishwasher that cost $500 two years ago now rings up closer to $700. That's still relatively low, but it's quite a jump. And I don't see any signs of prices going back down anytime soon. When it comes to style, Whirlpool has the sleek pocket style dishwasher handles and fingerprint resistant finishes found on much more expensive brands like Bosch and Miele, but at a much lower price point. And finally, number three, speedy wash and dry. There's a lot of debate about what's better, dishwashers with a heating element to dry dishes or the European style approach of relying on a hot water final rinse to encourage condensation. While the European method is safer for your dishes, won't melt plastics and uses less energy, condensation drying does take about 30 minutes longer per cycle and it doesn't do a great job on plastics. Whirlpool goes for the heating element approach, so you'll get quicker drying and won't have to deal with excess moisture for your plastics. Just watch out for your kids' utensils dropping to the bottom or you may be dealing with a mess of burnt melted plastic. Have questions yet or need help deciding? Comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our link in the description to sign up for our email with money-saving tips when buying a dishwasher. As I mentioned, Whirlpool makes dozens of dishwashers and it doesn't divide them into different series the way other manufacturers do. To make the assortment easier to wrap your head around, I'm dividing them into three categories, base, mid-range, and premium. Let's start with Whirlpool's base category of dishwashers. These dishwashers cost under $600. Why so affordable? They're mostly very loud and look a little dated. Dishwashers today range from 38 decibels on the extremely silent end to slightly above 60 decibels at the noisiest. I recommend targeting a 50 decibel rating or less. That's quieter than a typical conversation. Most base whirlpools run louder than 50 decibels, but if your kitchen's isolated from the rest of your home, that might not be a problem. However, if you have an open concept kitchen that connects to your living room, steer clear of these models you'll regret hearing the water of the dishwasher swooshing while you're trying to watch TV or have a conversation. For you, I'd recommend targeting 44 decibels or less, something found on Whirlpool's highest end models. On the outside, they're available in black and white plastic or regular stainless steel and have bulkier handles and displays. On the inside, you'll get a plastic tub, not stainless steel. While stainless steel interiors look nicer and tend to do a better job reducing odors, the plastic tub here saves money and is what allows Whirlpool to hit this crazy low price point. And we found that Whirlpool interiors don't stain too easily. Like how the racks have generously spaced tines, they're great for stoneware or chunky coffee mugs. You'll also get sensor wash, sanitize, and a one hour cycle. If you're really on a budget, these base models may be a good choice for you. But if you can, I recommend splurging for what's up next, their mid-range options. 
Whirlpool's mid-range dishwashers cost between six and eight hundred dollars. They add conveniences like fingerprint resistant finishes, sleeker handles and control panels, a stainless steel interior, a third rack, and noise levels at or below 50 decibels. On the inside, a third rack is a feature you'll appreciate. It lets you neatly arrange utensils in small bowls and frees up space on the bottom rack where a silverware basket would traditionally sit. A fingerprint resistant finish is super convenient and a smaller or hidden control panel looks more modern. Mid-range Whirlpool dishwashers also have nicer looking handles like this pocket style one that blends into any kitchen design. The 47 decibel WDTA50 SAKZ, for example, comes with a fingerprint resistant stainless steel exterior, a sleek pocket handle, and a hidden control panel. Open the door and you'll find a stainless steel tub, a third rack, and an adjustable middle rack with folding tines. It's a prime example of the streamlined, solid product Whirlpool is known for, and you can find it for under $800. Premium Whirlpool dishwashers range from $800 up to $1,000 and deliver quieter, smarter performance. One even has Wi-Fi. You can also get a black stainless steel finish. These high-end dishwashers have Whirlpool's most advanced wash technology, the Total Coverage Spray Arm. Every dishwasher with total coverage has spinning spray arms with nozzles that shoot water out onto your dishes. Whirlpool's two total coverage spray arms have a total of 21 nozzles designed to cover the entire tub in high pressure spray. Some also have heated and vented drying for bone dry results. Are you on Instagram? Follow us at Designer Appliances to see real life kitchen renovations and get ideas to make the most out of your living spaces. Now that you know about the three different categories of Whirlpool dishwashers, let's discuss which ones at Designer Appliances we recommend. From a value perspective, I suggest sticking with Whirlpool's mid-range dishwashers. The basic models are too loud for most home kitchens, which tends to be where your family gets together. Ideally, you don't want the dishwasher to be louder than your conversation. Once you get into the premium dishwashers, brands like Bosch give you more for your money. You'll get a more complete feature set compared with Whirlpool. That's why the sweet spot for a Whirlpool dishwasher is between the $600 and $800 price range, which we call the mid-range dishwashers. The WDTA50 SAKZ is an ideal choice at this price point. It may not have Wi-Fi, but it has everything else you'll need. To sum it up, Whirlpool's mid-range dishwashers have everything you need, plus a convenience or two, and nothing you don't at a fair price. As far as availability, my advice is to buy this model wherever you can find it. Just give the retailer a call first to be sure it's really in stock before you click buy. When we recommend a product, we want you to have the full picture before making a decision. So what are those cons I mentioned earlier? Whirlpool dishwashers are pretty reliable and they're backed by a solid customer service network, but they aren't the longest lasting ones out there as their lifespan tends to be about six to seven years. That's not as long as Mila or Bosch, some of the most dependable brands we sell. Those are built to last anywhere from 10 to 20 years but that may not matter to you if you're planning to sell your home soon or don't wanna make a long-term investment. When it comes to installation, you should know that Whirlpool dishwashers don't sit completely flush with your cabinetry. They're deeper than average. That's great because they can hold more, but it means they also stick out some. If you're looking for a perfectly flush installation and you have shallower cabinets, be aware. And if you care about Wi-Fi connectivity, you should know that Whirlpool has only one smart option, and it's not one of the models we recommend due to its high price point. If you still have questions about which dishwasher to buy, leave a comment below. And if you're in the New Jersey and New York area and ready to make a purchase, our team of experts at Designer Appliances would be happy to help. Visit us online, give us a call, or stop by one of our showrooms to get started. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel where we provide helpful tips and advice to make you an educated appliance shopper.